thrilled to see Stina is joining us now. Stina, can you hear me? I can hear you, yes. That's great, welcome. It's good to see you again. It's good to see you, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for joining us. So tell us about Global Scribes. Yes, uh, it is my pleasure. So Global Scribes is a uh, youth community that uh, brings together youth from across the world. We are in 45 uh, plus countries. Uh, youth come to our platform, to our community to create, connect and collaborate. And uh, well, actually, rather than me explaining what Global Scribes is, I would love to just read out a little quote from one of our uh, youth. So this right. is from Archie in uh, the United Emirates, uh, Arab Emirates. She um, explains Global Scribes as an international platform that promotes equality and fraternity between all the different forms of humanity which exist on Earth. So creating a bridge, connecting people, cutting across the prevailing geographic boundaries. It's undoubtedly one of the best forums to make new friends and of course learn a lot more about the world beyond what Google has to offer. So I think she just uh, captures it very nicely. That is what uh, Global Scribes does. So really, um, it is all about Youth Uniting Nations. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful work that you're doing. Uh, so uh, how long have you been involved with it, Stina? Uh, well, I started out with Global Scribes, I believe it's a year and a half ago now. Uh, time flies. <laughs> I was lucky to meet Cynthia, uh, the founder of Global Scribes, um, a year and a half ago. I was working in Colombia. I was uh, introduced and uh, I jumped at the chance to come on board and uh, be part of this huge, fantastic global movement. Yeah, you have a very international background, but I believe you're based in Denmark. Is that right? No, I am based in Amsterdam. Oh. <laughs> but I am Danish. Uh, well, Amsterdam is a beautiful city. That's right. I forgot you'd moved to Amsterdam. I should have remembered that because I love Amsterdam. <laughs> but, uh, and I've never been to Denmark, but I was fascinated by the fact that you're from Denmark because uh, I have some ancestors from Denmark. So there anyway, um, let me just pull up on the screen here a couple of really basic facts and you can just uh, help me confirm these details. Yes, but, uh, Stina, do you see my screen there? I do. Okay. Does uh, this look right? I think uh, you're the you're with Global Scribes Youth Uniting Nations. You're Stina hey. Philipson, and yeah. uh, you're raising money on uh, fundraiser.com. Uh, so you, the URL is fundraiser.com giving scribers. That is correct. And then uh, your website is globalscribes.org. And your Twitter and Instagram handles are wisely, I would point out, the same, <laughs> Global Scribes. I know, and, someone uh, really did their marketing well. Yes, uh, good job, Stina. And then uh, you're building Scribers World for Youth Uniting Nations. So it's, it's really cool work that you're doing. Uh, so how will you use money that you raise today? Right, so that is exactly our big mission now is to bring Scriber's World to life. So Scriber's World is our virtual global uh, creative hub. So it is a physical platform. It is going to be an app and a web platform where we can streamline our operations because we have grown beyond our own capacity at this point. So we have youth and schools that are waiting to come on board. And uh, one of our biggest priorities is that it is all inclusive, that it's cyber secure, and we have some very strict uh, golden rules within our community. Uh, so in order to um, welcome all of this organic growth that we have experienced uh, very excitingly, uh, we are building this, uh, this platform, Scribers World. So the money will go to um, bring this platform to life so we can meet the demand of global youth and streamline our operations and really just foster this creative hub, uh, which is a usable resource for schools, for peer organizations. Uh, we have some big organizations and um, student networks that are, uh, that are on hold to come on board with us. Um, so this will be exactly a usable resource for, uh, for other organizations to be able to implement as well and, uh, and um, contain their uh, alumni communities within Scriber's world. And uh, yeah, foster this peer-to-peer uh, this -peer learning environment that, uh, that we are so, uh, I mean, I can only speak for myself, but that I am so incredibly fascinated by 
and really seeing how they are making their uh, dreams and aspirations come to life with each other across borders, learning about each other. So it is to, uh, to make sure that we can provide that opportunity for all youth anywhere, regardless of their background, regardless of where they come from and who they are. So really to be on that continuous journey to be all inclusive. Oh, that's great. Well, I really appreciate you uh, uh, joining us today. Uh, tell us a little bit about what the prototypical experience is that uh, a youth would have. Uh, so you read this great quote from the girl in the UAE. Tell us more about what she's doing with Global Scribes. What is her experience? Right. So uh, actually, on that note, uh, I am super excited to invite you all to uh, have a little bit of a scriber experience today. So we have launched a special edition Spark Word uh, on our website. Uh, we are inviting everyone to uh, share their story with us on our Giving Tuesday Spark Word. So this was chosen by our scribers and it is Imagine You Could Do Anything. So we would love to hear your stories um, on that. So uh, with that, with that said, uh, this is uh, this is number one. Number one step that all of the scribers engage in is uh, writing a creative story um, sparked by our Spark Word. So there is a monthly Spark Word that changes. It is always chosen by the youth themselves, and uh, they write their creative stories. It can be a script. It can be whatever it may be, so that they start. Um, well, have a forum to express themselves as well as read uh, stories from all around the world. Um, step two and step three is to bring these stories to life and to sort of share a glimpse of their lives with the community. And uh, step four is what where things get super exciting is uh, in the GS teams. Uh, so we have our um, 17 different GS teams where youth collaborate and uh, bring projects to life that are um, designed um, initiated, launched, and just brought to life uh, by themselves. So we have, for instance, in our tech team, they're currently developing an app. And uh, we have some uh, super sharp coders that are teaching the other one, the others in the team how to code. And uh, exactly, so a lot of peer-to-peer -peer learning um, and making those ideas come to life with each other. So that is, um, that is sort of the essence. And then next to that, we have our two communications uh, communication tools. So they engage in um, global chat, which is daily, which is 24 seven. Uh, so there's always someone to listen to you and uh, core call. So this is a uh, youth led core calls that we have every Sunday where they uh, come to life and engage and communicate in a, sort of a more face to face uh, version. So you have a, a few hundred members now, right? Yeah. But they are scattered all around the world, right? That is true. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> How have you created this uh, international community? I will give credit to Cynthia for that. <laughs> so Cynthia, our uh, amazing founder, she has, uh, I believe, she. I don't. I, I have lost track. She has lived and uh, traveled and worked across the globe, and uh, she initiated this with a little community in Jordan and it has just expanded. So she has onboarded people from all across the world, engaging friends, teachers, and then it just spirals from there. So all of it has been just organic growth. And uh, we have had teachers who've moved from one location to another location, launched clubs in that uh, new location. We have scribers that are bringing on board new scribers. And uh, all of a sudden we were in 45 plus countries, yeah. Okay. So uh, credit to the community. <laughs> well, it really is. It really is. And I really appreciate you taking the time to be with us, Tina. Uh, what, would, what message would you like to leave with us before you go? I would like to leave you with a message that um, if you yourself believe in uh, giving this opportunity to youth around the world, allowing us to be all inclusive and have kids from every single country in the world, please do support us in uh, bringing to life Scriber's World. We would love to talk to you and discuss it even more. Uh, you're welcome to reach out by email. Uh, find us. Uh, you can reach out to me personally. It's uh, stina at globalscribes.com. And um, yes, we would, we would love to talk to you. So um, 
please help us empower youth around the world with self-efficacy and uh, yeah, help us stem social isolation. Fantastic. Well, Stina, again, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate you uh, taking the time and uh, uh, we're thrilled to be able to connect with you in Europe. We, we, we've had some great conversations uh, already. Uh, each of, We've done three interviews so far on the show and each one has been from a different continent. We had uh, Asia, uh, Africa, and now Europe represented. So uh, we're feeling very global already here about an hour <laughs> well into the show. So just 23 hours for me to go. Uh, we'll be talking to Cynthia a little later today. She's uh, She'll be joining us from the United States, I believe. Yes, she is. Yes, uh, we, we don't have a lot of uh, American guests willing to get up in the middle of the night to do the show. I can't imagine why. But, uh, <laughs> we're grateful that you would take the time to join us. So thank you very much, Dina. You take care now, okay? Thank you so much for the opportunity. Enjoy the 23 hours. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay. Well, that was great chatting with Stina. I uh, so admire what she's doing and the great, great person that she is. Um, listen, I'm going to